Live Storm Tracker Doppler Radar, sponsored by Homeland Bank. And now, Storm Tracker Doppler Weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. We are mostly quiet across the Arkansas, but we are talking a bit of cloud cover here in northeast Louisiana, but southern Arkansas are starting to pick up on a little bit of sunshine, but we are expecting rain chances to slowly increase throughout the day. We could see more widespread showers, thunderstorms by lunchtime and for this afternoon, but right now you don't need that umbrella or rain jacket as you're heading out the door. We're dealing with some cloud cover right now here in Monroe. We're currently at 81 degrees right now at the airport, and winds are currently calm and dew point is right at 76. Now across the area to the north, we're at 78, Monticello, 73 in Kansas. Camden, El Dorado's at 75, and Ruston is currently at 77. Now, we're all quiet on Doppler Radar. Like I said, you don't need that umbrella or rain jacket right now as you're heading out the door and beginning your morning commute. But later on today, that's when rain chances will start to increase, and it's all due to a stationary front that's holding up just to our north, and it's going to be holding out across our area, and we'll see showers, thunderstorms spark up along that layer. Now, just a few weeks ago, we were kind of dealing with a similar scenario. We had a frontal system that just held out and became stationary, and we saw rain chances pretty much each day of the week, and that's going to be kind of similar to what we're going to see this week, but the good news is it's going to keep those temperatures, daytime highs, really in check. We'll be only be in the mid 80s by noon today for lunchtime, and then by later on today, we'll see daytime highs only really get to the lower 90s, so we'll get a break from that extreme heat. Still going to feel a bit muggy out there, but it will definitely take temperatures in the lower 90s versus triple digits like it was last week. Now, a few tracker shows the boundary layer holding out, not really expected to go anywhere. We'll see a lot of showers, thunderstorms spark up along that layer stretching from Oklahoma all the way to the east coast along this particular layer and then as we progress out the week it won't be going anywhere we'll see more rain chances as we go throughout the week as another system will start to move back in and disrupt our unsettled pattern and just keep it unsettled as we go throughout the week now for today around lunchtime we'll see more widespread showers and thunderstorms especially later on today or this afternoon by five o'clock and then as temperatures will stay generally in the lower 90s with plenty of cloud cover then as we go overnight tonight rain chances will slowly diminish we'll lose that daytime heating and then as we go into tomorrow morning we'll start off mostly cloudy with temperatures really just in the upper 70s and we'll see some isolated chances for some showers in southern Arkansas but we could see some storms across the Mississippi River Valley can't rule out the possibility of some of those storms becoming severe for your Tuesday afternoon on the fourth but really expecting to say mainly in central Mississippi but nonetheless a marginal risk will extend across portions of the Arklamas really the only thing we're looking at is the possibility of some of these isolated storms that might produce some strong wind gusts that might reach up to 60 miles per hour becoming severe and can't rule out the possibility of some of those storms producing some hail, but the overall severe threat don't expect a whole lot of widespread activity going on with the particular system for tomorrow. Now, for today, expecting a high of about 92 degrees with scattered showers and thunderstorms. It's going to stay mostly cloudy for today. Winds will stay generally out of the southwest. For tonight, we'll see a low of about 76 degrees with lingering showers and thunderstorms, but by midnight, most activity on out of here. Rain chances will stay around 20%. For tomorrow, for the 4th of July, we'll see temperatures reaching still lower to mid-90s, but isolated showers and thunderstorms will pick up on some sunshine. Can't rule out the possibility of some of the storms becoming strong or severe across the Mississippi River Valley. We'll see winds stay out of the south. For seven day forecast, we'll see rain chances persist without much of this week, but it's going to keep those temperatures in check as we go throughout the week as they'll stay generally in the lower 90s. But as we go into the weekend, rain chances will start to drop off, and by Sunday, we'll start to see temperatures begin to warm back up to the upper 90s, and we'll see lows stay generally in the mid 70s.